All right, what the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah. You can find me on Twitter at Noah More Parties. And today I'm going to be talking about the running back who is probably the most undervalued, underrated, underdrafted, low key win now piece in all of Dynasty right now, Rashad Penny. Let's get into it. <laughs> I got five points here for Rashad Penny. Number one, dude has been awesome when healthy. He's a legit runner. He's really good. We all know he came on last six games of the season in 2021, went for like 700 yards, six touchdowns. That's like a 2,000 yard pace over a 17 game season. He was, during that time frame, he averaged like 19.5 points per game in PPR, which over a season long, like that's a, that's a smaller sample than a full season, but extrapolate that to a full season. He would have been the PPR points per game RB4 behind only Derrick Henry, Jonathan Taylor, and Austin Eckler. So he was absolutely legit toward the end of last season. We know this, but he's been really good every time he's been healthy his entire career. Going back to 2018, his rookie season, you know, first round pick. I like to evaluate running back kind of like performance on the ground by comparing them to their teammates, given that they're operating in the same offensive environment. It's a little easier. It's a, it's a little bit more of a one-to-one -one comparison for like efficiency numbers and things like that. But I like to take it a step further because yards per carry misses the context of like what box counts are they carrying the ball against and things like that. You know, like who's, who's running into heavier fronts with a metric I call box adjusted efficiency rating, which examines like team relative yards per carry against each box count, like five man boxes, six man boxes, and then using a weighted average comes up with like a a percentage of how much of the rest of the team's output is a player producing on a per carry basis. So anything above 100% means you're outdoing your teammates on the ground per carry, given the box counts you're facing. As a rookie, Rashad Penny's box adjusted efficiency rating 113%. In 2019, box adjusted efficiency rating 127%. Those are numbers both above the 70th percentile. And then this last season in 2021, 172% box adjusted efficiency rating, which was number one in the league among players with at least 100 carries and one of the top five marks of the last five seasons. So he was absolutely incredible on a per touch basis last season. And the thing about Rashad Penny is that he's he's kind of a boom bust guy. His overall efficiency has been really great, but his consistency like on a, you know, a per touch basis has not been as high. And I kind of evaluate running efficiency using the same concept as box adjusted efficiency rating, but using success rate where box adjusted efficiency rating looks at an average, which can be, you know, kind of like swayed by these big gains and stuff. Success rate assigns like a failure success tag to each rushing attempt based on whether or not it gained like a requisite amount of yards given down in distance. So given the box counts he was facing, Rashad Penny has succeeded on his runs relative to his teammates going back to his first season in the league, 12% less than they did in his first year, and then 2% more in his second season in 2019, and then in 2020, 12% less again, and then last season, about half a percent less. So he's consistently more efficient than his teammates overall, while generally being less consistent than them, which means he's like a he's like a dynamic, like big play runner, lots of splash runs, like down the field, breakaway runs, but on a play-to-play -play basis, um, not quite as efficient, but still, different types of runners do different types of things. Obviously, we'd like a guy to have it all. We'd like him to be like really efficient and really consistent. Rashad Penny's running style just like isn't that type of thing but still he's on a per touch basis he's producing at an incredible rate relative to his teammates and even last season like he was pretty good from a consistency standpoint the last time we saw him healthy in 2019 he was pretty good from a consistency standpoint so I don't know that he's inherently that dude but we like the overall efficiency anyway and like even going back to college at San Diego State you know not a big school not incredibly talented teammates but he was outdoing those guys by over two yards per carry and over seven percent in 10 yard run rate so he's just like smashing his teammates from back in college he's been really good relative to some quality runners in the NFL, he's a legit dude. And really the only issue that Penny has had thus far in his NFL career has been health. And for the first time in like three years, this is point number two, for the first time in like three years, he's presumably, like we assume, he's healthy coming into week one. Like first couple seasons, he was pretty healthy. 2019, he, what did he, tears ACL that season um, late in the year. He missed most of 2020 after, you know, some sort of like corrective surgeries. Um, he missed six games with injuries last year. He had, a, he had a setback in preseason, then missed six games early in the year with, I think it was like a hip strain or something. Now, you know, we saw him play really well down the stretch last year. Haven't had any setbacks as far as I can tell since then. He should be good to go. So, good player, healthy for the first time. 
Point number three, the guy who he's been kind of been taking a back seat to since he was drafted is Chris Carson. And I think there's a good chance that Chris Carson is just done. First of all, I don't think there's been any shame in like losing touches to Chris Carson in the last few years for Rashad Penny. Chris Carson has been really good in his own right. And if you kind of look at those same efficiency metrics, like since 2017, when Carson joined the Seahawks, box adjusted efficiency rating of 133, then 108, then 99, just below his teammates, then 144. Like he's been really consistently really good. And even on a play-to-play basis, as far as like consistency goes with success rate, it's been 1% higher than his teammates, 5% higher than his teammates, 1% lower in 2019, and then 13% higher than his teammates in 2020. So he's just been a really, really solid runner. Those are numbers consistently above the 70th percentile for him. So the fact that Rashad Penny lost touches to a guy like, you know, Rashad Penny's a first round pick. Chris Carson was taken in the seventh round. It's like, you can't get on the field over like a fucking seventh round pick. Chris Carson's legit. He's not your average seventh round pick. He's like a legitimately talented really good runner, you know, workhorse size, he's explosive, he breaks tackles. Chris Carson's a beast, but this last season, he started out the year kind of as a lead back, got hurt, but even when he was healthy last year, he had by far the worst season of his career. His box adjusted efficiency rating in 2021 was 86%. His relative success rate was still greater than his teammates, 1% higher than theirs, and so I think he's still like a good instinctive runner. He runs hard, and so he's succeeding on a higher percentage of his runs than the other guys on than the other guys in the team, but his per carry output is less than theirs. And so I think he's he's still got the instincts and things like that that make him a good runner, but I think he might have just lost the juice. He's going to be 28 in September. He just had the worst season of his career from an efficiency standpoint, from a health standpoint. He had spinal infusion surgery after a neck strain in week four that kept him out basically the rest of the year. It's not a good sign for like these running backs who are approaching 30, you know, to A, slow down from an efficiency standpoint. Typically, these guys just drop off a cliff you know, kind of suddenly, and we don't, we don't kind of hear from them again. So his efficiency took a step back. He's not healthy. He's older. I'm a little questionable on Chris Carson going into 2022, which is bad for him, but probably good for Rashad Penny. And the fourth point is that Pete Carroll wants to run the ball, and there's nobody else beyond Penny and Carson in this backfield. The only running backs under contract for the Seahawks right now are Rashad Penny, Chris Carson, DJ Dallas, Travis Homer, Darwin Thompson, and Josh Johnson, kid from uh, UL Monroe from a few years back. So... Dallas has not been good so far in his career. Homer's kind of a special teams and like, you know, just kind of role player guy. Darwin Thompson's not big enough to carry the load. He's proven that he just isn't quite the guy. Josh Johnson's a jag. Carson's probably over the hill. It's Penny, man. And they they don't have Russell Wilson this year. And, you know, Drew Locke or whoever the rookie's going to be, you know, if they take a guy in the draft, this offense is going to take a step back. They're not going to have the passing efficiency that they've had with Russell Wilson. And they're probably going to run the ball a lot more. You know, like Pete Carroll in the recent press conferences talking about playing defense and establishing the run and playing special teams well and all that, like, you know, curmudgeonly old, like, dumb shit that he does. But for the sake of, like, running backs in fantasy football, volume over efficiency. And while this running game might not produce efficiently relative to like the rest of the league, they're probably going to run the ball pretty often. And the quarterback play and overall efficiency of the offense might not matter if like Rashad Penny's good in the RB1 chair getting a lot of touches. Like we've seen guys even just last year, like Jonathan Taylor, Najee Harris, DeAndre Swift, Nick Chubb, David Montgomery, uh, Antonio Gibson, James Robinson. All these dudes finishing as like RB1s or RB2s despite bad quarterback play, most of them not good offenses. Like, yeah, the Seahawks probably aren't going to be good. For fantasy, that often doesn't matter. So I think I'm in on Rashad Penny anyway. If he's healthy, and it seems like he is, and if he's the best running back on the roster, which he's clearly better than, you know, those five guys below him and Carson. And given that Carson's old, given that he's been hurt, given that he's coming off the worst season of his career, I think it's pretty clear that Rashad Penny's the better player in this backfield at this point in their careers. He's at the age apex. I'm looking forward to the best season of Rashad Penny's career. Free him. Let the man loose. 1,000-yard season incoming. And based on where he's being taken right now in, like, all sorts of formats, per Dynasty League Football, their uh, startup ADP data, he's being taken in the mid-15th round as of March as the RB39 behind guys like Alexander Madison, James Robinson, who's coming off an Achilles injury, and Devin Singletary, who... You know, they got Zach Moss. They got Duke Johnson now. Like, Devin Singletary's not a dude. And I'm taking Rashad Penny easily over those guys. I'm probably taking him over Kareem Hunt. I'm taking him over Tony Pollard. I'm taking him probably over, like, the New England backs. I think there's a good chance that Rashad Penny is just the guy in Seattle this year, and he's going to be better than these guys who are, like, handcuffs, basically, here in the, you know, 14th round of Dynasty startups. Per uh, Keep Trade Cut, he's the 148th player in their rankings, RB37. And even in, like, best ball uh, redraft leagues right now on underdog. He's currently being taken as the 99th 
player overall, the RB33. I don't see another player in his range that like has the high upside that he has at this point in his career. He's like, I, I, I keep saying it, but he's like a legit dude. He's healthy. And there's nobody else in this backfield. He's going to have the keys, he's going to get touches, and he's going to run efficiently. And if you don't have him on your roster, you're going to regret it because he's going to blow up and he could be an RB1 this season. Lock it in. Get Rashad Penny on your rosters.